Hello, 1301. This is uh, C. Rob. I'm looking a little scruffy, but I have a tan, so I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to go over some of what I would call the picture theory uh, for Edward Said. Um, it's one of my favorite lectures in class because the first two days we really just look at pictures. Um, where you're from, your hometown, your parents, your teachers, the way have you been the way you've been taught to look at pictures is just as significant as the way I've been taught. So the first two days I would pick a picture from Saeed, uh, put it up on the screen, and we talk about it. We'd interpret it. Um, I like that style of lecture too because it's. Instead of having to read, you have to read 50 pages for homework. I didn't do it. The teacher's going to call on me. I'll look stupid. You can just turn to page 541, um, look at the picture, interpret it the way you interpret it. So um, my tech skills aren't as probably as good as, as, as y'all's because I'm getting old. But um, the the pictures in Saeed correspond, uh, the page numbers do, with the page numbers on in uh, module two. So I just want to give you a sense of what we do with the picture theory. Um, sometimes in 1302, we focus more on his writing, but we, we have longer to do that in 1302. Um, 1301, a big chunk of what we do has to do with interpreting the pictures. And several of your questions that you'll do for uh, your discussion board and draft and paper could be on the pictures. So uh, the first one on 541, is the wedding picture. Um, I would ask the students generally, would you like that to be your wedding? Um, when I taught in Virginia and Ohio and Iowa, those students didn't want that to be uh, uh, their wedding because ultimately uh, they look like a poor family or there's danger. Um, sometimes in Odessa, the reaction is different. Like they'll say, maybe that could be a wedding in 1980 um, in Odessa, Texas. So, but, you know, some people read the, the body language of the people. Some people uh, read the background. There's kids in the background playing. Um, the wall in the background looks like it's been damaged, maybe by gunfire, maybe by a bomb. Um, and then the photographer, uh, there's a Mercedes. And if you read the passage above, usually for Americans, a, a Mercedes signifies wealth. But he tells you um, it comes from Germany. It's easier to get to the Middle East. It's like a taxi. Um, but I'll, and as you read this, don't forget that uh, Saeed lived in the United States for 30 years. So he knows American culture. He also knows Middle, East, Middle Eastern culture. Um, he knows how the typical American might interpret the photo. So. I'm thinking this camera might cut off a little of my uh, double chin, so that's good. But anyway, that's the picture on 541. Uh, the wedding picture, when you do your uh, first assignment, question number one has to do with that, but feel free to do another one. Um, on 542, it's a couple. Um, again, they correspond to what's on module two. Um, it's a man and a woman. Um, it says they used to live in the in the desert, and this is their first apartment and the woman is wearing a burqa she's holding the baby she seems pretty stiff the guy has you can see his chest hair uh, which was cool in the 80s um but he, maybe he's watching tv but the man seems much more relaxed um that's a little bit of, I, I would call a feminist picture where we talk about how men treat women in the middle east uh, maybe there's a, a a paper there for you um, a lot in some countries, women can't go to college. They have to marry um, who their father tells them to marry. Um, they can't drive. So, and I'll ask, you know, should we as Americans do something to help them, or like it's their country, leave them be? But uh, 542 for the young feminists, that would be a good question for you to do. Um, 544. Um, it's the. Um, Amman, 1984, a visit to the former mayor of Jerusalem and his wife in the exile in Jordan. Take notice of a, uh, take note of the places that he mentions. Uh, Jordan is a richer country. Uh, so the man's wearing a suit. They seem richer. They're in a nice apartment. They have a television. 
Um, pay attention to the the mural in the background, the the golden cupola from Jeru Jerusalem where they used to live. Um, sometimes I'll ask the students in their living room, their parents' living room, wherever, what's the main thing in the living room? And in their living room, it's a religious shrine where they used to live. So um, pay attention to that. They're angry, they're bitter, but Jordan seems a little richer. Uh, the next picture on 545 is a street scene. Uh, Ramallah, an everyday street scene, banal and reassuring, yet the tension is constant, a passing jeep, a flying stone. The incident can occur at any moment. So if, if you look at that picture by itself, it could be Odessa in 1980, a street scene with a vendor, kids riding their bike. But Saeed in the caption that he inserts says there could be a bomb, there could be danger. So um, maybe there's a paper about how he uses the, the captions. Um, I might skip an occasional photo. 549... It's uh, two kids burnt, uh, playing in a burned out car. And I'll ask the, my students face to face if they were driving down Interstate 20 and they saw two kids in a burned out car, what would they think? Would they call the police? Um, and there's kind of two ways to think about that. Either what kind of, for the mothers out there, what kind of mother would let their kids play in a burned out car? There's rust, there's jagged places, maybe there's a snake. Um, but the other school of thought is their kids, they're playing, they're six years old, they don't know they live in a dangerous place. So maybe that depends on if you're an optimist or a pessimist. Um, I grew up in Virginia when I was a kid. Um, I went down to the river every day with my dog. We played on the river. You know, I could hit my head on a rock. There were snakes, but it was wonderful. I loved going to the river. So what you think of that picture kind of depends maybe on if you're an optimist or a pessimist. 550, it's a baby in a tent. Um, when I taught in Iowa, when I taught in Ohio, the students would go crazy. That baby's going to die in a tent. It could be 105 degrees in that tent. But we live in the desert in, in West Texas, so maybe it's not that bad. And you, you don't see the mother in the picture but maybe the mother's doing her thing, she's working, um, everything's just fine. So, um, same kind of principle as the one before. 552, if I were in this class, that's probably the picture I would write about. It says, Gaza, 1979, refugee camp, a boy of unknown age. Um, the first time I read this in graduate school, I wrote, when I was taking my notes, does he hate us? He's got his hand on his hip. He's staring at us. It sort of begs the question, at what age um, d does a kid know that he lives in a bad place? That w At what age does a kid know he's poor? Um, same thing with Santa Claus. But some of you out there might uh, believe in Santa Claus, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. But I'll ask my face-to-face -face students... That picture was about 50 years ago. What would that kid think of us now? Does he hate us? Does he think, you know, we're all in a hot tub with, with dancers having a good time in Odessa, Texas? Or does he think we're making fun of him, looking down on him? Or 50 years later, does he think finally the Americans, the Texans, are, are studying my culture? They want to help. They want to be proactive. So maybe be thinking about that kid 50 years in the future, what he would think of you, what he, what that kid would think of me. Um, there's a couple more I'm skipping. Um, there's a picture of kids with like a grandpa and eggplants. You know, I used to help my dad pick peaches and I love that. But Saeed puts in the caption, farm using refugee labor. So they're forced to do that. Um, there's a street scene with a mural with an actress, um, more positive. You might want to be thinking as you look at the entire photo series, do they move from uh, negative to positive? Do they move from like the American stereotype, what Saeed thinks we would think versus a nice downtown market section with a, with a mural? Um, and then, uh, yeah, I think that might be where this section cuts off. 
So if you're following on module two, um, Saeed's essay is long, so it's divided into two. So that's the uh, end of the first part, and I'll be back in a second. This is my office too, by the way.